Oh shit, yeah, yeah, you take that off. Boom, 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 boom. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Life Coach Lessons From. And today we're talking about Mortal Kombat and one of my favorite characters, Kung Lao. He's also on this water bottle. Uh, he's not on the t-shirt, unfortunately, but um, maybe one day. This is one of my favorite series of all time. In this series, I'm breaking down the life coach lessons that I get from stuff that I watch, stuff that I consume for entertainment. And I get these are life coaching lessons I give to my clients. Now, Kung Lao in Mortal Kombat, is, he's the descendant of a great fighter generations ago called that was called the Great Kung Lao. And now this Kung Lao that we see in Mortal Kombat these days, um, he's his descendant, right? And something that I noticed with uh, Kung Lao is he's got a lot of ego. He's very determined to try and prove himself because Liu Kang, his Shaolin brother, is chosen as Earthrealm's defender, right? You know, one of Earth's greatest warriors. And Kung Lao's like, nah man, I can do it too, I can do it too. And he keeps proving time and time again that this is why they chose Liu Kang. You know, there's parts in the story where, um, you know, he has this hat that he throws at people and it can cut them or whatever. He's got some great skills as a fighter. But there's, there's just so many times where he's trying to prove something. And the funny thing is, he wants the recognition from the outside world. But all he's trying to do is get his own recognition. He's trying to prove to himself that, hey, I'm as good as Liu Kang. I could beat Shao Kahn. I could beat Shang Tsung. I could beat these people. He goes up against Shao Kahn and he gets killed. You know, like, um, I'm not going to go too much into this story, but he gets brought back by a sorcerer. And he's, you know, he, they call it, they're called revenants at this time, like dead versions of their previous selves, right? So something that I noticed with Kung Lao, it's like, when his dead version comes back, he's even more spiteful than before. In the beginning, you know, before he died, he was cool, like, you know, he's a bit of ego. But something that I noticed with Kung Lao is like, he has this massive hatred towards every, like, towards Raiden, really, because Raiden's leading the Earth Realms team. And he's like, oh, Raiden, you let me die. It's your fault that I'm dead. No, it's your fault, Kung Lao, because you came in brazen. You came in with this whole attitude of, yeah, I need to um, I need to prove myself. And the big life coaching lesson that I love from this, whether you have a business, it applies to business, relationships, health. If you've got something to prove, then it's going to make those things worse. It'll make your relationships worse. It'll make your health worse. It'll make your business worse. These things about having something to prove, it's not real. Because you would only have something to prove if you didn't believe in yourself. I'll give you an example. I spoke to one of my clients about this recently. And my client was saying, um, oh yeah, I, I, wanna, I, I got triggered by someone who was asking me how my business was going. And I didn't really want to talk about it because I, I just want to be able to say, yeah, I'm making this much money and this is how good it's going, but I'm not there yet. So I can't really prove it. You know, if I looked at the track record of how his business has grown since we started working together, it's irrefutable. You can't deny that the business is growing. But no matter how much evidence we have for that, he still can't prove to himself that it's working. However, I said to him, he's not, he's not of um, Chinese descent, but I said to him, can you prove that you're not Chinese? And he started laughing about it. And I was like, no, but like if, if you had to, would, like, if I asked you, could you prove it? you probably wouldn't feel the need to prove it to me. You'd just be like, um, whatever, Satchin, you know, I can't be bothered. And it's that laughable to him. If someone says, no, but you're Chinese, and they kept saying it to him, it doesn't, it's not real. And it's the same with the business thing. You don't need to prove that it's working. You don't need to prove to anyone, and you don't need to, if you really can see in yourself, oh well, yeah, this is going, if I look at the results, it's going well. Now, if you did your ancestry test results and you looked at it and they said, your, the, the results are inconclusive, you might actually be Chinese. He wouldn't give a shit. He told me, I was, I'd brush it off. Okay, yeah, you, maybe your test systems are broken. 
You see how easy it is to not buy into the story that you're Chinese. But on the other hand, when it comes to is your business working, there's, there's a lot of leeway there. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe they've got a point. Even though the evidence is irrefutable. And this is what I want to get across with Kung Lao. It's like, no matter how hard he tries, he'll never be able to prove to himself that he's good enough. And this is the whole story arc with Kung Lao. The reason he's, be he's been um, looked over and Liu Kang was chosen in instead of him is because of that ego. The reason why he died is because he's got that thing to prove. And the big reason why the great Kung Lao, um, he doesn't really match up to him, is because he is he do, he has this thing, this chip on his shoulder, I've got to prove to everyone that I'm good enough. And you see, a lot of us have this. Am I good enough to start a business? Am I good enough to have this person as my partner? Am I good enough to receive unconditional love? Am I good enough to love myself? Am I good enough? Am I good enough? It's a story. And I'll, I'll pose it to you like this. Are you Chinese enough? Are you Indian enough? If you're, if you're from Wales, and your whole ancestry is people from Wales, Scandinavia, whatever, and you have zero Indian blood in you. I'd ask you the question, oh, but are you Indian enough? It's the same thing as are you good enough? If you're Indian, I ask you, yeah, but are you Jamaican enough? Are you Canadian enough? Then they're completely different. You, you wouldn't have a shadow of doubt in your mind. Oh, I don't really need to bother with that. It's the same thing as are you good enough? Good enough is not a prerequisite in anything. You don't need it. It's just made up, but we give it power. Just like Kung Lao, he gives this story about himself a lot of power. Oh, I need to prove that I'm worthy. Worthiness is a made up concept too. It doesn't have to be real for you. So this whole thing, the reason why Kung Lao has this downfall is because he's choosing to believe in something that's completely made up and bullshit. It's like if you, you know, if someone said, oh, but are you Chinese enough? Um, whether you're Chinese or not, it's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna get in the way of you brushing your teeth, walking the dog, or getting changed in the morning. It's the same thing as being good enough. It doesn't have any impact in your life unless you believe it does. Then it will start fucking with you. <laughs> anyway, we'll probably talk about Kung Lao at some uh, at another point in time because he's involved in a lot of the story that we're going to talk about. But that's what I want you to get from today's conversation. Are you believing in this bullshit about are you good enough? Are you giving it power? Because it is just a thought. And thought is ever changing in the moment and it's temporary and fleeting. It's like breathing, yeah? If you... The molecules of oxygen I breathed in just left. But if I hold my breath, I'm going to get very uncomfortable. It's the same thing with thought. Thought comes in and it goes out. But if I hold on to it, I get very uncomfortable. Great example with Kung Lao. He got so uncomfortable with that thought, caused his death. <laughs> All right, anyway, that's enough for today. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.